hello dear students so let's see the solution of question number 5 without trigonometry so in this we have a abcd is a cyclic quadrilateral in which ab is parallel to cd and o is its circum center of abcd and l is a point on ad so if i say its center is here so if i draw a perpendicular from o to ad so this point is l and it is also midpoint of ad right it is a midpoint of ad also because if you draw a perpendicular from center to a chord it bisect it prove that ob times so ob is basically radius ob is r if i represent its radius by small r so r is a radius ob then what we have to prove that r times ab plus cd is equal to ol times ac plus bd now as ab is parallel to cd it is a trapezium and we know that if a trapezium is a cyclic quadrilateral then it must be a isosceles trapezium right and you can prove this very easily so we are not going to that part you can prove it that it is a trapezium uh, isosceles trapezium ad is equal to bc and i can write here abcd is isosceles trapezium okay so angle a is equal to angle b and angle c is equal to angle d okay now if i just uh, rewrite this equation by using this uh, isosceles trapezium like we know that in isosceles trapezium ac is equal to bd so our statement becomes r times ab plus cd is ol times twice of ac that can i further say it can be equivalent to ab plus cd it can be equivalent to ab plus cd by 2 times r is equal to ol times ac right or i can write it as a r by ol is equal to ac by ab plus cd by 2 so it is looks like a <clears throat> we have to prove two triangles similar like r by ol is equal to ac by ab plus cd by 2 so we can try a triangle in which we have a r and ol and in which ac and ab plus cd by 2 now we know ab plus cd by 2 is a length of a median line right it is a median of a isosceles trapezium median line that we can create by joining the mid midpoints so ab plus cd by 2 is a length of median line and okay we want to create a triangle in which we have a ol as well as r so what we can do i can join oa also that is also r rather than ob i can use oa also which is also r and this is 90 so i can see a triangle ola ola one triangle in which we have a ol as well as r and if i assume this angle is theta then other part also makes an angle theta right then angle c is theta because aod angle is 2 is theta then acd angle is theta right so acd angle is 2 uh, acd angle is theta now we need a triangle we need a triangle in which we have a ac as well as ab plus cd by 2 so first we can create ab plus cd by 2 which we can make by 
joining the midpoints like in this one if i say this point is l because it is a midpoint of ad and this point let's say m which is a midpoint of bc so lm is a median line and its length is ab plus cd by So I need a triangle in which I have AB plus CD by 2 that I got and the second thing I need AC. So what I am doing, I will draw a line from M or passing through M parallel to AC or you can say that I am drawing a parallelogram ACMN. I draw a parallelogram AC MN and why I do that to make a triangle in which I have a side AB plus CD by 2 and AC. So to create AC, so same length I created here as a MN. So you can say AC MN is a parallelogram. So what we can say that AN is equal to CM. And CM is BC by 2, which is AD by 2, which is equal to AL. So AN is equal to AL. So I can say that ANL is isosceles. Is isosceles. Now second thing, I can say that AB is a angle bisector of angle NAL. Can we say that AB is an angle bisector of NAL? Again, the reason being, if I say this angle is theta, then this is also theta. Then this angle is also theta by alternate angles. Because this line as AN is parallel to BC, so angle B which is theta is equal to angle BAN. So you can see that AB is angle bisector. So what we can conclude in a isosceles triangle, in a isosceles triangle, the angle bisector also perpendicular to the opposite side, right? As AB is an angle bisector, so it is perpendicular to LN. So I can say this is 90. So if this is 90, then this is also 90 because these are parallel lines. Red line and AB line are parallel lines, so this is also 90. If you consider triangle MLN, you consider this triangle MLN this is similar to the triangle that we have seen here OLA how in OLA triangle we have a 90 degree in this triangle also we have angle 90 degree the second thing if you see that this was angle theta so I can say this is also theta because these are parallel lines so this is also theta so by AA by AA that triangle OLA is similar to M L N. So from the ratio I can say OL by OA is equal to M L by M N. So OL is OL, O is R, M L is AB plus CD by 2 and MN is MN is AC so that we want to prove right so this way we can prove the, <coughs> the given result without trigonometry so I hope this is clear guys thank you guys